Faye Brooks says she wasn't angry with fiancé Gareth Gates after he gave the game away about Coronation Street's biggest storyline of the year so far. Some viewers were livid with the singer and claimed he had insider knowledge after his Instagram tribute to the show's Rana Habib. He praised actress Bhavna Lambachia, Faye's on-screen lover, when her character lost her life after the roof of the Underworld factory collapsed on top of her. But the 34-year-old's words came before the death episode aired leaving followers fuming after the spoiler. Now the couple have spoken to Maze OK! magazine about the fallout from his social media slip-up, and the actress says she didn't read him the right act. It was an innocent mistake, and he felt really bad, she said. I know fans were upset, but he was proud of me and wanted to share that with his followers. Most viewers knew Rana was going to die, so he didn't really give away the ending. I wasn't angry with him, and nor were I TV. Gareth said it was a complete accident. We were out having some drinks when it aired, and I lost track of time and thought it had already played out on screen. I felt terrible. Her hubby-to-be didn't get much praise, but Faye did for her dramatic performance. Rana's death was the hardest thing I've ever had to film, and emotionally I ran myself into the ground with it, she said. Faye has had some work done and now has the letter G tattooed on her ribs. It stands for Gareth, she said. I've always wanted to have his initials somewhere on my body, it represents that we're together forever. I decided to get it on my ribs as it's the closest place to my heart. Gareth was with me when I got it done. He held my hand as it was extremely painful. They have a wedding to plan next year after after their split back in 2018 they're back and even better than before, she insists. We've been through so much as a couple and we've come out of it stronger than ever, she said. We're a team and our wedding day is about the next chapter of our lives together. We're definitely going to get married abroad somewhere hot. We love the idea of it being very intimate, so we're only going to invite 30 people. The wedding is going to be the biggest day of our lives, so I'm going to go big with my dress and every other detail of the day. I'll only get married once and I want it to be huge. Read the full story in this week's OK! Magazine out today, read more showbiz and TV editors' picks.